Hello there, my name is Sandil. Welcome back to our channel, English with Sanjana. Today, in this geography lesson, I am going to share some important information on the Asian region. This is an essential geography lesson for all grade 9 students. It will deepen your understanding on the physical landscape of Asia. The main objective of today's lesson is to learn about some specific information and facts on climate, natural vegetation and wildlife in the physical landscape of Asia. This is the third video in this series on the Asian region. In my first video, I already covered all about relative location, absolute location and the geographical location of Asia and its uniqueness. In my second video on the Asian region, we already discussed specific information and characteristics on relief, drainage in the physical landscape of Asia. If you haven't watched my previous videos on the Asian region, you may watch them first. Then you are well prepared for this lesson. You can click on the above link which will lead you to my previous videos on the Asian region. Here, today in this video, we will be going over the most important information and facts on climate, natural vegetation and wildlife in the physical landscape of Asia. First, we will be looking at three main climatic zones spread on the earth, which have been divided into based on the variations of distribution of temperature towards the North Pole and South Pole. From the equator. As we all might know, each climatic zone can be divided into various different climatic types with various features due to the influence of various factors such as the changes of rainfall, altitude, the influence of monsoons and oceans, the location of mountain ranges and continents and further the areas where subclimatic types are distributed. Next, we will move on to the lesson on the natural vegetation and wildlife. We all know that natural vegetation changes regionally according to the differences of rainfall and temperature. Natural vegetation and wildlife have adapted to various climatic types accordingly. As a result, natural vegetation has been classified under three types of forests. They are tropical rainforests, temperate deciduous forests and coniferous forests. And also you will get an opportunity to understand the basic differences among these three types of forests and their wildlife. If you stay tuned until the end of this presentation, I am sure you will be able to broaden your understanding on climate, natural vegetation and wildlife. I have already included lots of relevant colorful pictures for you to understand each content quickly. As usual, at the end of the presentation, there are some activities to test the level of your understanding. Then join me in this lesson on climate and natural vegetation and wildlife in the physical landscape of Asia. If you are ready, let's begin. The Asian Region Lesson 3 As I mentioned in the introduction in my first video under the Asian Region, we already talked about geographical location of Asia and its uniqueness. And the physical landscape in the Asian region, we need to go over relief, drainage, climate, natural vegetation and wildlife. In my second video on the Asian region, we already discussed important information on relief and drainage. In this video, we will mainly focus on climate, natural vegetation and wildlife. 
Let's take a look at a simple definition of climate. Climate is the average weather in a given area over a longer period of time. The Earth is divided into three main climatic zones according to the variations of the distribution of temperature towards the South Pole and the North Pole from the equator. They are tropical zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Look at this map here. It clearly shows how the climatic zones are distributed across the globe. Subsequently, we can study each climatic zone with their unique features and distribution over the Asian region. The Asian continent spreads over to the North Pole from the equator. Therefore, all types of climate that belong to those three climatic zones are found in the Asian region. First, let's take a look at tropical zone. The climatic zone known as tropical zone is located between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn are two major latitudes drawn at 23 half north and 23 half south respectively. Specific features in the tropical zone a very high temperature prevails throughout the whole year. The average temperature in this zone is more than 18 degrees Celsius. A warm climate condition prevails in this tropical zone throughout the year. Next, we will be going over temperate zone, distribution of temperate zone. Temperate zone is located between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere. Mainly, the Asian region spreads in this zone. You can find the distribution of temperate zone between Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. Some special features in the temperate zone. The average temperature in this zone is lower than the tropical zone. Seasonal variations exist here due to the increase and decrease of temperature. Seasons like summer, autumn, winter and spring are clearly visible in this zone. A clear warm season and a cold season are seen here. Now frigid zone, its distribution over the globe and some parts of Asia belong to this climatic zone. This zone spreads from Arctic Circle towards the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere. Some parts of Northern Asia is located in this climatic zone. Frigid zone in the Southern Hemisphere is located between Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. The main feature here in this frigid zone is the snowfall. The land is covered with snow for a longer period of the year. The three main climatic zones can be divided into several subclimatic zones based on various factors. They are Changes of the rainfall, influence of monsoons and oceans, altitude, location of mountain ranges and continents. Next, we will be going over three main climatic zones and under each climatic zone, its subclimatic types and their distribution in the Asian region. The main climatic zone is tropical zone. Under tropical zone, there are four subclimatic types. They are tropical rainy climate, tropical monsoon climate, tropical savanna climate, and warm desert climate. It's important to know the areas 
how these subclimatic types are distributed. Tropical rainy climate can be seen in areas like Java and Sumatra Islands. Tropical monsoon climate can be experienced in India, Sri Lanka and Myanmar. Tropical savanna climate is visible in North and Northeast India, Bangladesh. Warm desert climate is clearly visible in Thar Desert in India and Middle East countries. That's all for tropical zone, its subclimatic types and distribution. The second main climatic zone is temperate zone. Visibly, two subclimatic types prevail in this zone. They are warm temperate climate, wet temperate climate. Warm temperate climate is noticeable in the area surrounding Mediterranean Sea. Wet temperate climate prevails in East China, Japanese islands. That's all for temperate climate. Let's move on to learn frigid zone. Under frigid zone, there are two subclimatic types. They are polar and tundra climate and mountain climate. Polar and tundra climate is visible in northern part of Asia. Mountain climate is visible in the regions surrounding the mountain range of Himalayas. We already discussed very important facts on climate, but there are some places with very extreme climatic conditions in Asia. The lowest temperature in Asia is recorded from Verkhoyansk in Russia and its temperature decreases up to minus 50 degrees Celsius. The highest temperature in Asia is recorded from Jakobabad in Pakistan and it's about 55 degrees Celsius. That's all for the lesson on climate. Now we will be looking at natural vegetation and wildlife. Natural vegetation changes regionally according to the differences of rainfall and temperature. Natural vegetation has adapted to different climatic types. Accordingly, there are three main types of forests. Tropical rainforests in tropical zone. Temperate deciduous forests in temperate zone. Coniferous forests in frigid zone. First, let's take a look at tropical rainforests or tropical evergreen forests. Tropical rainforests can be seen in the areas where high temperature and heavy rainfall prevail throughout the year. These forests consist of different layers. They are undergrowth, understory layer, canopy layer and emergent layer. There is also great biodiversity. In these forests, there are various tall trees like mahogany, ebony, rosewood, bamboo, sandalwood and also various types of creepers, moss and lichen as well as epipides. Wildlife in tropical rainforests. Various species of monkeys are a salient feature in tropical rainforests. Species of reptiles, fish species, chameleon species and also some animal species such as tiger, leopard, wild pig, deer, jackal and somebody else. That's all for tropical rainforests. Next, we will move on to temperate deciduous forests. Deciduous forests are seen in the temperate zone, especially between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle. Trees in the deciduous forest 
have adapted to cold and warm seasons during the year. Leaves of the trees fall annually in order to be ready for the winter season. This is a very special characteristic in these deciduous fasts. Now let's take a look at some specific common trees found in here. Oak, mulberry, chestnut, pine, eucalyptus, Douglas fir. Kinds of animals living here are wolf, bear, somebody, antelope. That's all for temperate deciduous forests. Now let's move on to coniferous forests. Coniferous forests are situated in frigid zone with taiga and tundra. Taiga means the forest that grows in wet ground. Tundra means the large flat arctic regions where trees hardly grow, usually soil below the surface of the ground is always frozen. Here you can see the shape of the trees. Trees are in a shape of a cone so as to resist snowfall. Look at these leaves. They are in a shape of needles. The species of trees grow here are pine, spruce, fir, oak and larch. You can see some animal species which live in the coniferous forests. They are reindeer, polar bear, snow fox, snow dog, sable and mink. That's all for coniferous forests. And we have already discussed all about climate, natural vegetation and wildlife in the physical landscape of Asia. Let's do some activities. Question number one. What are the three main climatic zones which the earth is divided into according to the variations of distribution of temperature? Now pause the video and write the answers. Tropical zone, temperate zone, frigid zone. Question number two. What are the subclimatic types which come under tropical climatic zone? Tropical rain climate, tropical monsoon climate, tropical savanna climate, warm desert climate. Question number three. Name three countries that experience tropical monsoon climate? India, Sri Lanka, Myanmar. Question number four. Name the natural vegetation which can be seen in the following climatic zone. Tropical zone. Tropical rain forests. Temperate zone. Temperate deciduous forests. Frigid zone. Coniferous forests. Name a few animals which can be seen in tropical rain forests. Tiger, leopard, wild pig, jackal, deer. This is the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find this video interesting, subscribe to our channel and alarm the notification bell. Then you know when the next lesson is coming. You may share the video with your friends. I will see you in my next video. Bye now.